Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips for data science noobs. Now, five is just a great number because it's long enough for me to explain stuff. It's not too many points that I'll just like be listing off like a few lines. And you have the attention span of a squirrel, so I think five is a great number. Just a disclaimer, I am not a complete data science pro. I still learn things every day, and I just wanted to share whatever I know with you. Number one, don't be afraid to explore your data. Now, before even starting your analysis, you need to have a question or a set of questions in mind that you want to get out of your analysis. But don't let this define exactly how you understand your data. In order to perform an analysis, you need to know the kind of data you have. And, well, in the case of a data frame type data, what every field represents. Playing around with some parts of data may give you new ideas on actually how to solve a problem. Just throw some summary statistics, get some ballpark numbers, and don't worry about the question that you're trying to answer that much. Number two, know your problem and how to approach it. You're heading into a mountain of data, and you have a specific goal in mind. Don't lose sight of this goal. I said before that it is fine when you're exploring your data to get an understanding and not really consider your problem, but when you actually have an understanding of your data, make sure that you don't stray away from your question. This could lead to a number of random shallow analysis that really won't be useful to anyone. Number three, machine learning is not always the answer. First off, even before thinking of modeling your data, you need to have a clear understanding of it. Creating a model without understanding your data is just blasphemous. And even after analyzing your data, there is still a no guarantee that you really need to throw a model at it. I see this a lot in some Kaggle kernels where you would notice a response variable and see, oh, it's a categorical variable, so I might as well throw some logistic regression or support vector machine classifier to it and see how it works. Or in the case of regression, let me throw like a neural network regressor and see how that works. If you are thinking of machine learning, then you need to answer questions like, what are you trying to model and what do you wish the model to achieve in the end? If you don't have a purpose for the model, then don't bother modeling your data. Number four, statistics versus programming. Which one is better? Which one is more important? They're both important. In stats, I find myself using a lot of hypothesis testing, especially when I want to establish a comparison between two groups and want to determine if the difference is statistically significant. On the programming front, I feel like there needs to be a basic understanding of how to program in general. Many libraries used in analysis are built into languages. For example, Python has pandas for data frame manipulation, or Matplotlib and Seaborn for data visualization, and even scikit-learn and TensorFlow for machine learning. Also, knowing how to program allows you to play with underdocumented libraries too. In five, value presentation. This is probably one of the most important points. When you perform an analysis, about 70% of what you do will be nothing out of the ordinary. Some of them may not even be worth presenting. Furthermore, when you include every little detail of everything that you've analyzed, it's really hard to see what the key takeaways are. So once you're actually done with your analysis, you should go back and try to see the importance of everything that you've analyzed, highlighting things that are more important or that should stand out. I find it particularly difficult to read Jupyter Notebooks on the fly because Jupyter Notebooks have code along with figures and some explanations just jutted in between. So it becomes really hard to see what's important and what's not. I would recommend creating a set of presentation slides that only have the key graphs along with their takeaways. And any other explanatory information that's required, I would put it in the appendix section so that it could be pulled up whenever you need some more information. And that's my five points. So here's a brief up. Understand the kind of data you're dealing with by throwing up some big stats, and don't be afraid to explore. Second, have a problem to solve and focus your analysis on solving that problem. Don't do a bunch of random analysis that isn't gonna be useful to anyone. Third, after analysis, if you feel the need to model data that will help improve your problem, then go for it. Or if you're trying to solve another problem, then do that. Just make sure that the model has a purpose. Four, have an understanding of stats and programming. Analysis and its implementation in code will be a lot easier. And finally, 
You should effectively be able to communicate your findings succinctly, highlighting key points in little time. And that's all I have for you now. So if you like the video, hit that like button. If you're new here, welcome. And hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell for notifications when I upload. Check out my other links in the description down below. Still haven't had your daily dose of AI? Then click or tap one of the videos right here for an awesome video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.